First questions for, for Leo. Uh, Leo, obviously the, the last fight didn't go the way that you expected. Did you find it hard mentally to, to kind of rebound from, from that KO loss? The truth, it was a little bit, you know, hard because, you know, I got knocked out. Uh, it didn't go my way. But like I said, you know, after going back home and, you know, hearing, you know, comments from the fans, they, they talked to me and they said that I was doing a great fight, that nothing to, you know, feel bad for. Because, you know, I was doing a great fight. I was, you know, putting hands on Gerbanta. He just came with a good shot. I got overexcited. I got confident. And I just, cause, you know, I just wanted to entertain the fans. I wanted to go out there. I could have boxed. I could have moved, not stay there to get caught with that big punch. But like I said, you know, I try to enter entertain the fans. And even if I had to pay for it, I still went out there and tried to do it for the fans. And at the end of the day, that's what, you know, the fans want for us to go out there, give a great show. And that's what I did while I lasted. <laughs> uh, a question for Keenan. Uh, Keenan, um, since 2017, you've scored a number of knockouts. Could you see yourself knocking out Leo Santa Cruz in this fight? Yeah, definitely. You know, I mean, it's not something that I'm going in uh, just looking for the knockout. If it comes, it comes. But, you know, I'm ready. I'm prepared for the 10 rounds and I'm prepared to, to go to war. I mean, I know I know Leo's style. Uh, uh, he knows mine. You know, it's going to be some heavy, heavy punches exchanged. So, you know, we both have power. So we, we both are. Uh, a knockout is possible, but yes, I'm coming. I'm I'm coming to hurt him. I'm coming to knock him out, but I'm not looking for it. I'm looking for a war. All right. Thanks, Jeremy. Our next question is going to come from Erica Montoya. Erica, please unmute yourself and you can ask your question. Hi, happy holidays to everyone. Uh, Leo, mi pregunta es para ti. Quisiera que me comentaras un poquito acerca de cómo fue este año y cómo te mantuviste activo para estar en la situación en la que estás ahora, ahora enfrentando a Kenan Carvajal. Pues sí, la verdad, este fue un poquito duro después de la derrota contra Jervonta Davis. Sí, este, tuve un poquito, pues, de pensar las cosas, de a ver qué hacer, qué, qué venía, este, ya que, pues, esa... Nunca esperamos la derrota de Ponocao así, pero como dije, los, los comentarios de la gente, los fans me animaron, me dijeron que iba haciendo buena pelea, pues que me agarró con un buen golpe. Y pues la verdad, eso pasa en el boxeo. Pero yo desde ahí empecé a entrenar, yo quería regresar al ring, pero mi equipo me, me mantuvo, me dijo que, que no regresara hasta me recuperara bien, que esté bien recuperado. Y ya pasó un año, so ya dije, ya, ya tengo que volver al ring. Le dije a mi equipo que ya estaba listo y pues queremos regresar desde como noviembre, diciembre, que queríamos regresar, pero no se pudo, pero ya que vamos a regresar en febrero, estamos contentos, emocionados de dar una buena pelea para todos los fans, para todo el público, y ojalá regresar y volver a, a la cima. Leo, can you translate uh, your answer, if you don't mind? Could, yeah, Leo, could you please just uh, sum up Erica's question for you, and then uh, your response in English for the English-speaking press that are on? Yeah, no, she was asking that how I felt and how I deal with, the, you know, after the the loss against Gervonta, and I said that, you know, I was a little bit, you know, depressed, uh, th trying to think about what, what I going to do after the loss. And I said, you know, I was upset, but then the fans, they gave me motivation. They told me I was doing a great fight and, uh, you know, to keep my head up. And then, you know, I started training. I started training. I wanted to get back in the ring as soon as possible, but my team told me to add rest, I had to recover. And, you know, after a year, I said, you know, I have to go back in the ring. I want to go up in the ring. I already miss it. So, I started getting ready since September. I was looking forward to come back in November or December, but it didn't happen. But now that I'm coming back in February 5th, I'm very happy, excited to go out there and give the fans a fight and hopefully I give them an exciting fight. All right, perfect. Thank you for that, Leo, and thank you for that question, Erica. Our next question is going to come from Hans Temestad. Hans, please unmute yourself and you can ask your question. Hey, guys, how you doing? Um, all right. My first question is for Keenan. Um, Keenan, I wanted to know, um, you know, you're currently on an 18 fight win streak. Do you feel that you're, you know, pretty much overlooked since a lot of people are choosing Santa Cruz to win? Uh, definitely. And yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, I understand the game. I understand that I, I'm the underdog coming in. But to me and my family, we, we believe that we earned this spot. And um, and I mean, that's all that really matters to me. I um come 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 February fifth. It just comes down to me and Leo. What happens that night? It don't really matter what the odds are, or um any, anything else. Gotcha. And uh, my next question is for Leo. Um, you know, you've always been, you know, somebody that always wants to go after the top names. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure that's not going to change now. So, you know, a lot of guys like Shakur Stevenson, um, Chris Colbert, 
Um, even Oscar Valdez has mentioned you before in the past. Um, who do you consider to be the best guy at, let's just say, 130 right now? Who do you consider to be that number one guy and the number one guy that you want to, you know, essentially go after after this fight? Uh, you know, the truth, you know, I like I said, you know, I never understand me, no fighter. Uh, I don't look past no fighter. Hopefully everything goes good. I can't scan and grab how we get the win. And like I said, you know, I think right now the top dog at uh, 130 is Oscar Valdez. I think he's, uh, you know, number one. And he's a great fighter, but Shakur Stevenson is on his way. He's also a great fighter, great skills and everything. But, you know, like I said, I'm going to go out there first, go against Kerner Cabraha. He's a great fighter. Uh, anything will happen that in the fight. Like I said, you know, he comes to fight. I never understand me, no fighter. Like I said, uh, first I want to get through that, and then we'll talk about who I want. But first, right now, we're looking to Kerner Cabraha. All right. Thanks very much, Hans. Our next question is going to come from James Bell. James, please unmute yourself and you can ask your question. All right. Uh, first question here is for Keenan. Uh, you had three fights here in 2021, three stoppage victories capped off by uh, your victory in your hometown. Um, what have you done to like kind of like develop yourself in order to get those stoppages and, you know, kind of have that type of uh, mentality uh, going into the ring against your opponents? Right. You know, um, I, uh, you know, I think it was just experience. Um, just, you know, I'm just at that stage in my career where I'm able to, to do what, what my mind, like what my mind, my mind and body are one. And I'm, I'm, I'm able to do exactly the things that my thought that tells me to do in there. Um, I'm just, it's just a matter of comfort and experience. I, I'm just, I, I feel like I'm, I, I, I'm at my peak um, as far as, yeah, as far as my performance. And my next question for Leo, um, you're going against an opponent here that is, uh, you know, Tala has a longer reach than you. You pretty much had the advantage for the majority of your fights. But what do you think about your adjustments here against a fighter uh, that has that type of uh, length and reach? You know, for me, I think it's actually been better for me. You know, I don't like to fight fighters that are shorter than me because it makes it more difficult. You know, taller fighters, I know they have longer reach and everything. They could use their distance, but that's what I like. You know, I like to fight bigger guys. I like to go toe to toe and. If I'm gonna fight him, you know. I have to adjust, but I got I know how to fight them, and I know how to do a great fight against those tough, tough fighters. All right, thanks very much for that, James. Our last questions for our co main event here are gonna, gonna come from Missyl Montano. Missyl, please unmute yourself and you can ask your question. Gracias, eh, Leo. Pues bueno, en noviembre me habías comentado que buscarías a Oscar, pero acabas de comentar que pues primero está Keenan. Igual, ¿cómo sientes que estará tu rol en las 130 libras después de venir de una derrota eh, con Gervonta Davis? ¿Y si cuánto tiempo crees que te tomará para poder ser un retador oficial ya para Oscar Valdés o algún otro cinturón? No, no, la verdad, yo como dije, ahorita, ahorita Oscar Valdés está en su top, este, es un buen peleador. Y la verdad, yo quiero hacer esta pelea, ojalá todo salga bien, realmente Dios salgo con la victoria, amor, hacemos otra pelea más y después yo pienso que ya estaría listo para retar a Oscar Valdés, ojalá que me dé la oportunidad, este, como digo, tengo que volver a ganar mi, mi posición allá arriba y que me den la pelea, pero yo pienso que ya, yo ya estaría listo yo este, de, cuando, desde, en, en esta pelea, después de esta pelea yo también estaría listo, nomás depende de que me den la oportunidad. All right, uh, Leo, if you could please again translate that question for Miss Ayala and then your answer for the English speaking press. You know, he asked me that if that if, you know, I, that I said I wanted to fight Oscar Valdez, that when do, the, do I think I'll be ready to, to fight Oscar Valdez? And I said that, you know, hopefully everything goes good in this fight. Hopefully, God, I get the win. And that, you know, I'll be ready after this fight. You know, after this fight, I'll be ready. I just looking forward for them to give me the opportunity because, you know, Oscar Valdez is a champion right now. He's the top right now. So it depends on if they give me the opportunity, I'm willing to go after this fight. All right, perfect. That's our last uh, question for both Leo and Keenan. I'll turn it back over to Ray for closing comments from Leo and Keenan. Awesome. Thank you very much, Andrew. And yes, as we conclude, this is our co-main event, Leo Santa Cruz, Keenan Carbohol, Saturday, February 5th in Las Vegas at the Michelob Ultra Arena at the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. Tickets are available at AXS.com where you can watch live on Fox Sports, BBC pay-per-view. Keenan, give us your final thoughts as you get set to collide against Leo Santa Cruz. All right, come February 5th, you guys. Uh, it's Fed to War um, and Classic Fight. Can't wait. 
Leo, final thoughts as you get ready to dive into training camp even more so ahead of your clash against Keenan Carvajal. No, that, you know, I'm excited to go out there and give the fans a great show. Hopefully the fans come support us. They're going to be four great cars, you know, Josito Lopez, uh, Neri, um, you know, uh, Carlos Castro, Keith Thurman, Mario Barrios, you know, all great fights. They're going to be all great fights. Me and Keith are another great fight. So they're not going to want to miss it. It's going to be my return to go to the top. So, you know, hopefully the fans, they keep supporting me. I'm excited to go out there and give them a great fight. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much to Leo Santa Cruz and Keenan Carbon.